My name is Victoria Steele, and I'm running for Congress because that's what girls do. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> that's what women do. That's right. And I, I'm trying to say that as often as possible when I see young girls. Because really, really have a leadership gap, a gender gap in leadership in this country, just like we have a, a gender gap in pay. Everywhere I look, I see people struggling. Every single day, I've seen this for years. And when you really look at why they're struggling, they are struggling because the deck is stacked against them. The system is rigged in favor of the top one-tenth of one percent. Those at the very top are amassing wealth at an alarming rate. Well, the rest of us are getting shut out on a regular basis. I am tired of seeing people who need help get shut out. That has to change. What we're talking about is income inequality, economic inequality. I'm running because someone has to do something about that. The heart of my campaign is economic fairness and equal opportunity. That has been the heart of what I have been about my entire life, since, since high school. I grew up in poverty. I lived in an area of uh, coal mining country in northwest Pennsylvania. My dad was a coal miner. <laughs> Somebody else from Pennsylvania? <laughs> <laughs> my dad was a coal miner at one point, my, my grandfather was a coal miner, then they worked for the company that manufactured coal mining equipment. I really, really understand what poverty does and how it's connected to um, the cycle of abuse. I suffered a lot of, of abuse as a child um, and I wasn't the only one. And later I became a counselor, and believe me, I know I'm not the only one that has, has been abused. So these things have really, really stuck with me. In my childhood, it was rough, but I did know that I was loved. My mom and dad loved me dearly, and I knew that. And they taught me the value of hard work. And I have a strong work ethic. And in fact, it makes it really difficult for me to to not work all the time. And I'm not afraid of hard work, which is really good because this is hard work. Running for Congress is pretty tough. But you know, I was just saying to Gretchen a little bit earlier, I worked really hard running for Congress. But it was nothing like the work that I had to do as a single mom. As a single mom, that's tough. That's tough. And if you don't have a job and you're a single mom, that's even tougher. I want to help people. I want to help families. I want to help level the playing field so that all families, all moms and dads, all working people have a fighting chance. So I was 40, I was a single mom, and I went back to school. That was kind of scary. That was hard. But I went back to school and I got a degree in counseling psychology. I got a bachelor's degree, and then I thought, you know what? I can't make enough money to support myself on barely minimum wage, barely more than that. And so I got a master's degree in counseling. And then I started working with domestic violence victims. That was tough work. That was tough work. That opened my eyes to a whole world of hurt. And I understand how our economy plays into that. I understand how our system will really, truly keep people down and hurt people. And I wanted to do something more about that. And then I went to work for a substance abuse clinic, um, a treatment, a residential treatment center called The Haven. It's a treatment center for women. And when I was at The Haven, I started noticing, now I'm, I'm Seneca Mingo, I, I shouldn't have let that part out, but to me it's just who I am. Um, I'm, I'm Native American, uh, not an enrolled tribal member, did not grow up on the reservation, but I know who I am and that's how I identify and all of my life I've really tried to um, honor the traditions. And so when I was there, I noticed that a lot of the Native women that were coming into treatment, and there were a lot, would not finish treatment 
three-month program, they leave within a few days. So I started saying, what's going on? And I helped them, and I found out what they needed to make that program so that they'd stay, and I created a program called Native Ways. I had a lot of help in doing it, but we created a program that within just a few short years, we had the highest rate of completion around Native American women than we have for any other demographic. That means we save lives. Just last night, I was speaking at a group, and somebody said, my sister went through the Native Ways program, and she just got her master's degree. And that just, oh man, that just, that just means so much to me. Um, that's making a difference. As a counselor, I learned that I could make a difference in a room, group therapy, one-on-one. -on -one. I learned that I could make a difference in people's lives. One person can do this. I've always known that. I've known that since high school, that you can make a difference.